I'm interested in what anthropology can say about how mass media circulates locally, nationally, and internationally. And part of what I imagine my job to be as an academic is to think about how ethnography, which is a genre that's about studying cross-cultural contact, how ethnography can help us gain a more nuanced understanding of mass media technology and the very mass mediation that explains contemporary social life around the world. I'm looking at a group of African Americans that left Chicago in the 1960s, first for West Africa, but then eventually for Israel by 69. And they've been there ever since. So now we're talking about over 40 years. But not only are they in southern Israel, they're all over Israel, north to south. And they're actually on four different continents. The project is really my attempt to say, well, if we take seriously this one group that's under-thematized, right? No one really studies them. A lot of people dismiss them as kooky or crazy. If we can understand what they say to us about how race functions in the contemporary moment, how different spiritual communities deploy new media technology, because they're incredibly savvy media makers and consumers, and also if it can get us to reconceptualize what we mean by diaspora. In this instance, both the so-called African diaspora and the Jewish diaspora, in that they try to bring these two things together. I'm finishing up a project now on state violence, the history of state violence against Rastafari in Jamaica. I confident the power of Il Silasia Rastafari to deliver. That film is a film that says, well, if we look at the history of Jamaica from a Rastafarian perspective, it'll tell us so many interesting things about what it means to go from a colonial uh, a colony to a post-colony. It'll tell us some fascinating things about how every new state negotiates its more marginal, vulnerable, even potentially threatening communities. Anthropologists talk about um, narrative logics until the cows come home. We're really interested in how we tell stories about cultural difference. But I think film just makes that preoccupation so much more acute, so much more important 